evidently we interrupted a predation sequence this morning. Fish and game biologist Steve Netto and Michael Lucid knew they had at least one wolf in a trap. However, until they found these tracks, they didn't realize they had probably broken up breakfast plans for a whole pack. And this one right here evidently was chasing the two elk that we had, uh, had seen in the road. You can see the track of the one wolf right here. It's splayed, it's running. These are the claw marks, one, two, three, four. Um, approximately four to five inches long. And here are the splayed toes of the, or the hooves of the elk. It's called the Timberline Pack, and it dwells in an area of high human use in the mountains north of Boise. I'm gonna load up a drug and a jab stick, and I'm gonna distract the wolf from below, and Steve's gonna go up from above and inject the wolf with a drug. There hasn't been a radio collar in the group for more than seven months because members of the pack have either been illegally killed or hit by vehicles. And then to top it all off last fall, the one collar we had in this pack, um, the other pack members learned to chew the collar off. Hey, hey, did you get him? Once the drug takes effect, this young male wolf will be fitted with a radio collar. His eyes are still blinking. The goal is to have two radio collared wolves in each pack in Idaho. This allows biologists to monitor home range size, conduct research on how wolves affect deer and elk populations, and help scientists track the animals in areas of wolf-human conflict. We've got a uh, eye cover on him here to keep him calm if he keeps from coming out and to keep his eyes from being hurt from uh, the sunlight and not being able to blink much. In addition, the radio collared wolves will lead researchers to den sites. This is important for documenting wolf reproduction. I do an aerial flight every month, so I'll get a location from the air. Then Lucid uses this information to hike in on the area. And hopefully these radio collars will lead me to their pups and let me uh, count how many pups that they have and determine if this pack is reproduced this year. The wolf's general health is assessed, measurements are taken, and then it's fitted with ear tags and a radio mm. collar. Now it's time for him to join his pack mates. So I like to give the reversal just under the tongue here. Lucid and Neto watch the animal as it wakes up to make sure it's not hurt. The wolf staggers about as he recovers before finally getting his legs under him. Eventually, he disappears among the trees. Steve Liebenthal, Idaho Fish and Game.